located in the north central Vietnam. Nghệ An is the largest province with 16,490 square kilometers. The province has a diversified topography, including plain, midland, highland, and coastal areas of 82 kilometers. It shares with the Lao People's Democratic Republic the borderline of 419 kilometers. The province has a population of 3.2 million people, including 1.9 million people of working age. 55% of the 1.9 million have proper education and are qualified workers. Nghệ An has all types of traffic, roads, railways, airways, seaways. These are synchronized within the developed infrastructure. It's worth noting that the South North Highway runs through Nghệ An. The highway from Hanoi to Vientiane passes through Thanh Thuy border gate. These routes contribute greatly to the expansion of the East-West Economic Corridor, connecting Laos, Vietnam, Thailand and Myanmar, expanding the connection of the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean via deep sea ports. The infrastructure is being developed. The national power grid has covered all 21 cities and districts in the province. Water supply is sufficient for industrial production and agriculture. The telecommunication system is capable of meeting the requirements of international and domestic communication. Most of the well-known big financial credit institutions and insurance organizations have their operations in the province to provide credit and loans to the business community. Vinh City is the political socio-economic center of Nian province and the north central region. It is expected that by 2030 the city's population will be 900,000 people. Investment attraction has been defined as the driving force economic development in the province during the past years. The province has spared no effort in seeking investors, especially foreign direct investors. There are quite a number of incentive policies for investors such as facilitating the investment procedures, supporting size clearance and ground leveling, and supporting the investor in promoting their brands and training. The incentive policies have been implemented in a consistent way which helps create confidence and trust among the investors. In uh, 2015, we made a decision to invest in the central region of Vietnam. And uh, we looked at many provinces here. And we made a decision to come to Nayan because Nayan province offers the best incentives for investors. Uh, the authorities have been very welcoming of us. Uh, they have provided every facility that we have asked for and they've made it easy to do business here. So we have been very happy to invest in Nayan and we've been very happy with the support, the information and the advice that we've received from the Nayan authorities at the provincial level and the local level. For the past 10 years, the Investment Promotion Conference, which has been held annually at the beginning of the year, has promoted the effectiveness in attracting investment. The successes of these investment conferences have tremendously improved the investment flow into the province. In 2009 to 2017, there were 980 projects of 276,000 billion dong invested in Nghệ An, of which 927 projects were invested by domestic investors with 112,000 billion dong, 53 projects of foreign direct investors of 163,000 billion dong. 
Many projects have been put into effective operation, creating jobs for local laborers and contributing to the socio-economic development and the state budget. Some outstanding projects are Vietsip Nian Industrial Park, Saigon Group Brewery, TH Diary Project, Timber Processing Project of Forestry Company, Vinpearl Goodhold Resort of Vin Group, many projects in real estate industry. Hwasan Steel Ship Factories Number no. One and Two of Hwasan Group. Thì uh, quá trình mà triển khai dự án đó, chúng tôi cũng được uh, cái sự uh, hỗ trợ tạo điều kiện uh, rất là tốt từ tỉnh ủy, hội đồng nhân dân. We have received great support from the Yan Party's committee and People's Committee and local authority upon my time in site clearance. Speeding up the procedure in investment licensing and connection of 500 kV cable. Highway 48D has been connected with Nghi Sơn Seaport, which enabled us to import and export more efficiently. Và nó tạo điều kiện rất là thuận lợi chúng tôi trong công tác mà nhập và xuất hàng. Nghệ An has organized many investment conferences in foreign countries and territories including South Korea, Japan, Malaysia, Hong Kong and Australia. Many of branded investors have visited and explored the investment environment in the province. Apart from the ongoing industrial parks, Nghệ An has worked with two international corporations, VSIP, Singapore and Hamaraj. Thailand and Hoàng Thịnh Đạt Company to develop the infrastructure in the IP of the investment capital of 1,000 billion dong. We are located in a special economic zone of which investors are entitled to 15 years tax incentive with the first four years of tax holidays, nine years of 50% reductions and the final two years at 10% CIT. These are the advantages which allow investors from electronic sector, food and beverage, and other labor-intensive industries which needed skilled workers to operate in Visit Mian. In Visit Mian, we are committed to provide a conducive and sustainable manufacturing environment to investors. It has been determined that investment promotion has played an important role in the socio-economic development of Mian province. In 2017, the GDP reached 8.25%. Seven years ago, in 2010, it was 6.91%. GDP per capita reached 32 million dong per person, compared to 14 million dong per person in 2010. The capital for development was 50,000 billion dong versus 23,000 billion dong in 2010. The state budget collection was 12,000 billion dong, much higher than 4,000 billion dong in 2010. Playing the role of a center of finance, trade, tourism, education and training, science, technology, high-tech agriculture of the North Central region, Nghệ An continues seeking investors for industrial production, agriculture, tourism and services. The priorities are clean industrial production, high technology production and auxiliaries industries. Agriculture projects which apply high technology and projects are located in the west part of Nghệ An. Finance services, banking and insurance sector, ecotourism, community tourism, resource, investing into high-end recreational complexes, food and beverage chains, and hospitalities. 
trong thời gian tới thì chúng tôi rất là mong muốn là các nhà đầu tư sẽ tiếp tục In the coming years, we are looking forward to welcoming more investors to Nghệ An. We are committed to improving the investment environment by reforming the administrative procedures and investing more in the infrastructure, especially the road system. We are strongly committed to accompanying the investors in their pathway. Nghệ An, a land full of potentials, long history and rich culture. Nghệ An, innovation for robust development. Nghệ An, a lucrative destination for investors.